Hi, I'm Phil from Delphi, and today we're looking at this 2015 BMW X5. Now, it's come in because it has an electric window problem. The front windows are not working as they should do. Let's have a little look at the problem first, and then let's look at what we're going to do to be able to diagnose and rectify this issue. Now, on this car, the customers complain that the one-touch feature of the window isn't working correctly. So, what I like to do is to try all the functions and see what's not working as it should do. So first we can see that the window is operating correctly up and down. And the one touch feature down, that is working. But we notice here that the one touch up feature, that's not working correctly. Now this can happen when common things like the battery's been disconnected, the door or the door module has been disconnected or replaced. And there essentially are two ways of calibrating these windows, depending on the make or model. They're either, the first option is that you take the window up and down three times fully without releasing the switch and that does a self calibration on the window. Other windows have to be calibrated using the diagnostic tool. But before we do that, we now know what's not working. We're going to plug into the car. Let's have a look at the diagnostic tool to see if we've got any fault codes around this door. Now, a few options. We could either do a full system scan that would scan every ECU on the car to report back on the faults. Um, this is quite good common practice because you might find that this fault is interlinked with another problem. But just for speed, I'm just going to go into the central body module where the windows are controlled from. I'm going to head into diagnostics and we're going to communicate and just see first if there are any faults within the body control module relating to the door windows. Let's have a quick look. So we're connected to the ECU now. We can go to fault codes. And when we look in the fault codes, we can see here that we've got quite a few faults. Top one here is power window, driver's door, system is not standardized. Um, we've got quite a lot. We've also got some isolation on terminal 15. Um, what we're seeing here is battery voltage problems, again here on terminal 30B. So I'm suspecting at some point this vehicle's had a battery replacement and the windows haven't been calibrated after correctly. So the first thing I'll try is we'll just clear some of the codes and see if we can clear them or so any of them come back. Okay, so all the others are cleared, probably relating to the battery voltage problem. As you can see that we've got okay battery voltage at the moment. Now the battery voltage is starting to get a little bit low, any lower than that really, and I would like that battery support unit on. We've cleared some of the fault codes, but we have two permanent codes at the moment that won't clear, which is the driver and passenger windows are not standardized or not normalized. This is probably indication of a calibration problem. The best course of action now is to run a calibration and let's see if that fixes the problem first. So I'm gonna to go to the functions and I'm going to go to initialization of the front windows. It gives us some criteria here. Very importantly, ignition on, no faults, which other than these two faults, of course, and all doors must be closed. So I need to close the driver's side door, which I had open. Right, we've followed all the procedure where we've closed all doors, we've lifted all the windows, and remembering there's a calibration for the front windows and the rear windows, we're gonna do the front windows first. So we hit the calibration, initialize front windows. So it says close all doors and windows, then press OK to start. Now during this process, the windows are gonna cycle up and down, calibrate, and hopefully restore that one touch function. So the diagnostic tool now is cycling the function, Windows are going fully up and down, preparing the calibration to be complete, so the anti-trap function works. So the calibration's complete. It's now time to carry out a function check. So we can see that the one touch down works as it did before, but now the one touch up is working perfectly. Now remember on the, the diagnostic tool, there was a calibration for both front windows and rear windows separately. It was front passenger, front driver, and rear passenger, rear driver. So that all looks to be working, other than checking the other side to make sure it's, it's done as well. I think this task is complete. Thanks for watching. For more videos, why not follow us on social media or visit the Masters of Motion online hub. And for more expert-led courses, visit us online at the Delphi Academy. See you next time.